Hi, boys, you come over. I'll, I'll explain what's going on here in one minute. Explain what's going on here in one minute, out in the shed. Let's open them up. These just arrived. You know who you are. Thank you so much. You guys ready? Here, Seth, you stand right over here. Stand right over here. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Woo! Look at that, look at that. Ready? Open it up. Pull it up. All right, explain what's going on out in the shed with these shoes. Uh, bottom line, thank you so, so much. Mark your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the first ever live stream on this YouTube channel. I just confirmed with true love, Tuesday, January 1st, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Tuesday, January 1st, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So that's 8 p.m. on the East Coast, 5 p.m. on the West Coast. And if you're in Europe, I know it's going to be really late. Uh, but I will, yes, of course, record it and then upload a day or two later. The And I'm thinking one hour, all right? We'll see how it goes. And basically, you can come with your questions and I will answer them live. I also will be dipping... Uh, actually, you know what I might have to do is pull from a hat all of the questions that you asked me last week. So, all right, Tuesday, January 1st. So we're going to start the new year off right with a live stream. Okay. Shout out to all of the running shoe geeks out there who are watching this video right now. Yes, I know you're out there. I am slowly becoming a running shoe. Yeah, I'll just use the word geek. I uh, I didn't, you know, even a year ago, like obviously I loved running shoes. But in the last six months especially, I have become, um, yes, a little more uh, particular about the running shoes that I choose. And basically, I think I'm building up and I know this sounds a little strange, a really, really good muscle memory when it comes to different brands of running shoes. So just remembering what the body feels like in zero drop, in six millimeter drop, in 10 millimeter drop, all in different uppers and midsoles and zoom X and uh, EVA and TPU and all of these different running shoe terms. So anyway, shout out to all the running shoe geeks. Okay, here's the lineup. Are you ready to go, folks? Ultra, Hoka, Solomon, Skechers, New Balance, La Sportiva, On, Adidas, Saucony, and yes, this is the last running shoe of 2018. Uh, I didn't buy this shoe. Shout out to a vlog fan who took it upon herself to email me and ask me my shoe size, and she loves this shoe. Uh, it's the Fast Twitch. I've never run in this shoe before. Uh, I'm excited in early 2019 to take it out through the paces. It feels really, really nice just holding it in my hands. I'm not gonna run in it today, but uh, anyway, shout out to a vlog fan for helping me push this YouTube channel forward by taking the initiative to buy me this shoe. Thank you. And just a couple of points before we dive into the favorite running shoes of 2018. I'm beholden to no one, all right? I'm not sponsored by a running shoe company. And just a little side story, I was kind of hoping to be sponsored by someone at some point. Uh, it's, you know, in the ultra running scene, I'm not quite, maybe not quite fast enough or have won enough races to do that, but it was on my radar. I'll be just being frank with you, but now, because of you, I actually don't even really have a desire to be sponsored by anyone because now I can try shoes that you're interested in. And a lot of you comment uh, down, down below sharing ideas about shoes that I should be trying and I will get to them slowly uh, in, you know, in 2019. Like it just takes time to put shoes through the paces. So anyway, I'm beholden to no one. So that's point number one. And point number two, you really don't need this many running shoes. I realize that, uh, but I am a trail runner who lives in the city. And so I need that crossover at times of trail shoes versus road shoes. Uh, but like, $34. Hard to pass up that deal. 
La Sportiva won these at a race this year. Now, Saucony, you know, a, a very generous vlog fan bought these for me. So anyway, I'm not showing you all of my shoes to brag. I'm just trying to bring you as much uh, value and insight as possible to all the different types of shoes out there. And I think, just so you know, three or four different types of shoes is just perfect. A racer, two trainers, and then maybe an easy day shoe, okay? Like, you don't need this many, but um, anyway, I just wanna make that point. Like, I'm not trying to collect as many shoes as possible just to have them. Like, I really, really wanna, you know, work these shoes out and put them through the paces for you guys. Last week, we talked about the most challenging running shoe of 2018. It was the Ultra Boost for me. However, just have to mention, a couple of runners who have a bigger frame commented on that vlog, upper right-hand corner, about how the Ultra Boost kind of saved their running career. Now these are, I think it was two gentlemen, both over 200 pounds, and they basically said they couldn't run in anything else except the Ultra Boost uh, foam, and so, or midsole. That's amazing. So everybody has a different type of shoe that fits their body type and their stride and uh, their pacing. And so anyway, as I'm going through these shoes today, keep that in mind. Like this was not at the top of my, li my list in 2018, but it was at the top of a couple other people's lists. Like this, say they literally said, I think they said like they were, it kind of saved their running uh, capabilities. Their running careers is running in the ultra boost. So anyway, just want to make that point. Now, is it even possible to choose one running shoe that is my favorite in 2018 it's guys it gets really difficult very quickly as soon as you start breaking it down between road and trail neutral versus stability uh racing versus training it gets really complex very quickly i'm gonna do my best just to narrow it down for you uh but realize like you have different shoes for different tasks all right but i will say that my favorite trail shoe of 2018 was yes the solomon s lab sense 6 sg this guy is 7.8 ounces it's got a four millimeter drop and for solomon that's pretty lightweight like their shoes are known to be a little heavier and so I just love the aggressive lug action on the bottom to get me up the mountains here in Colorado. I use this shoe for FKT attempts, so fastest known times, which I actually successfully got two FKTs, meaning I ran up a mountain faster than anyone else ever in this shoe. So this shoe has a very special place in my heart. And of course, I will be picking up the Sense 7 uh, once the snow starts to melt here in Colorado and I can get back out on the trail. So favorite trail shoe, the Solomon S Lab Sense 6, and then my favorite road shoe of 2018. Very difficult choice, very difficult choice. Uh, I don't even know what to say. There are so many different shoes. Uh, I'll just, okay, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> It's the beacon. It's the beacon for value, for durability, for comfort. Oh, the comfort is probably the biggest factor as to why I love this shoe. It weighs 7.1 ounces, so very lightweight. Six millimeter drop, so, you know, kind of middle of the road. And I love it. I love it. And it's uh, it's cheaper than the runner up. Yes, it's the turbo. I love, this is the honorable mention, the turbo. Great shoe, but, and I realize like you can now find this shoe for cheaper, uh, but when I bought it, I paid $180 like two or three months ago. So it is coming down in price though. You just got to look around for the turbo. So this is the honorable mention. It was a very, very difficult decision between the beacon and the turbo, but I went with the beacon mostly because of the price, uh, the price point between the two shoes. And oh, it's just the weight. Oh, I just, I love this shoe. I love this shoe. So this is my running shoe of the year as far as on the roads. And uh, definitely ask me all your questions about this shoe down in the comments happy to answer because I think oh by the way oh my goodness okay looking to the future whoa they're changing the heel on the beacon version 2 which I believe is coming out in the spring I think I saw I think March correct me if I'm wrong the the heel on the beacon is changing I hope they don't change the shoe too, too much. You know what I mean? When you find a shoe you love and then the next version, they change it a ton. So just know the version two is going to be changing a little bit for the beacon. And just a couple more shoes to mention that I did not get to put enough miles into to really understand the shoe really well. 
I'm bullish, meaning I'm excited about the Vimero 14. Really excited about this shoe. And so many questions about this shoe coming in. Anyway, I just haven't put quite enough miles into this and I'm on a running break right now. But stay tuned on the Vimero 14. And then the On, I know, I don't know if I'm just like, you know, I'm just buying into this weird midsole uh, setup that they have, but I'm excited. This is January 1st when I lace them up. This is going to be my first shoe that I that I run in in 2019. I just, I cannot wait. It just felt so good testing the shoe in the running shoe store uh, a couple weeks ago when I picked it up. So, oh, very excited about that. And lastly, that I'm excited about in 2019, Skechers. I don't know. I'm I'm intrigued to keep. Uh, investigating Skechers. A lot of people love Skechers, which just blows me away. But um, there's a, I don't know, when you, as soon as enough people tar start saying that they love Skechers, that's a sign that you need to pay attention to. So the Go Run Ride 7, that's not this shoe, but I've heard that the Go Run Ride 8 is potentially coming out fall 2019. If you know any information on that, let me know down below. I'm intrigued by Skechers. I know it's weird, but I am I am intrigued by Skechers. And as runners, we always got to be looking to the future. So here's my list of 2019 shoes that I'm looking to try and to probably purchase. The Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro. Basically, I'm kind of interested in an alternative to the 4%, and I want to definitely do a comparison between the 4% and the Reebok Float Ride Run Fast Pro. Uh, the Skechers Go Run Ride 7 or 8, I'm, I'm probably going to pick that shoe up. The New Balance Beacon V2, the version 2, definitely on my list. Uh, the Solomon Speed Cross 5, oh man, I'm definitely picking that up for training in the mountains in 2019. I believe it's coming out March or April, uh, so here in three or four months. And then yes, uh, does anybody does anybody have any insider information about a turbo upgrade? I don't know. I think I've seen or heard some rumors, but it's it, at this point it's kind of all rumors as far as I know. Again, if you have any information on a turbo upgrade, I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts on that. So those are my 2019 running shoes that I'm looking to uh, probably acquire, probably acquire. Sound good? Sound good, YouTube? And as we continue to investigate to build up our memory for running shoes and different types and all the drops and uppers and midsoles and everything else going on in the running shoe space yes the key word is geeks we're kind of evolving in a little bit into running shoe geeks here but that is the key word geeks and yes the question of the day favorite running shoe and i know some of you have already shared uh your favorite running shoe but share again and make your case what was your favorite running shoe of 2018 and why and really like make your case because it will yes it will impact a little bit my decision making for what shoes i purchase to test on and try out for all of you in 2019 all right, sound good, sound good. All right, guys, December 31st is almost here. Uh, tomorrow, uh -huh, we're gonna talk about building a training plan, how I am gonna go about building my training plan in lead up to my first marathon. So come back for that tomorrow. And of course, the live stream next Tuesday, January 1st, starting the new year off on the right foot with a live stream, 6 p.m. Mountain Time right here on YouTube. And uh, I'll actually probably make an event for that pretty soon. Whoo, what a day, beautiful. Thank you again, thank you again, thank you again. Mm. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.